Hey uh, folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is a new hope. We are playing on Anomaly, although we haven't poked the monolith yet. I think I really talked about doing it pretty soon, but I'm, I'm very concerned about poking the monolith and what kind of badness starts. Like, when, when, when do you do it? I mean, I'm sure from a viewer point of view, you want to do it right away, and I don't blame you, and I'm excited for it. But I also know <laughs> from our live stream campaign how dangerous some of this stuff is. Can be Ooh, distress signal okay so maybe the game is like well if you're not going to activate the monolith we will force certain anomaly events on you i have not done this event yet so you've inter intercepted a distress signal from nearby camp of wegfu the frantic voice begs for immediate assistance defending against a threat they offer everything at their camp in return for help including shards of powerful arco technology the voice tries to explain the nature of threat the signal goes dead so we have a location on the map over here. We've got 15 days to respond to it. It is down a road, so the travel time won't be too bad. And I'm a little sad that we did go and slaughter a couple of our mares over here, but it may have to be the case. I don't suppose we've got any others, huh? No. We don't yet have flak armor or weapons. Now, a lot of times these events in the world map are fairly easy to deal with, right? Certainly less severe than any raids that come to us. But we would be going in with absolutely no information, no experience, no, I have no idea what to expect. And that is a terrifying position to be in. There's one of the questions might be, what kind of research can we get in place before we go out there? Can we get flak armor done and quickly make a few suits? Maybe, and that might be sufficient, I don't know. So I know we don't have like our actual, you know, defensive barricades and things set up over here. And heck, arguably, maybe I should be not moving these rocks so we can use them for a little bit of cover. Uh, in the end, we don't have enough real guns to, to do anything with. We're really just going to be dependent on the traps killing things. I suspect we don't have enough wood to finish this, which is a little bit freaky deaky. Fibercorn, right, your your fertility sensitivity is basically nothing yet. 10%, like an absolute waste. Or is it 30%? Was it light sensitivity? Light sensitivity is 30%. Fertility is 10%. We can grow the fibercorn indoors, although I suspect it's not pretty. I don't see an entrance for beauty. Hmm. Okay, since the construction here is mostly limited by wood, let's take this opportunity concrete floor base. Okay. We'll add beauty, help keep things a little bit neater. And it will look nice. I actually really like the look of concrete. Like I used to build everything out of wood, right? Because first of all, I like, you know, RimWorld to me feels very naturally like kind of rustic, kind of camping, kind of cottagey kind of vibe. Um, and I really like the look of wooden floors. In fact, I like the look of virtually every floor a lot more than the regular tiles. I think the regular tiles are kind of meh. It looks more like cinder block walls than nice tile floor to me. I mean, the fine tiles look really nice, but the regular tiles, meh. Um, but I like the wooden floor, but of course, because of flammability, it's, I've, I've finally had to surrender to the idea that, all right, maybe it's not the smartest thing in the universe. Although what would be pretty smart is, although this is gonna consume more wood, Although it's not giving us a block, so presumably we have enough on the map right now to run a ritual. Now, is that the thing we should be using our wood for? The rituals are pretty good. Yeah, I guess us setting up our, our temple is going to be pretty valuable because we will be able to move to rituals that don't constantly consume wood. A little bit of crankiness. Yeah, we didn't get... I don't think we got a full uh, participation. Where the hell is everyone? Oh, way over here. Not everyone was in the list, but mm. it was beautiful, but we didn't get the 50-50. We are getting our development points. Now, we might not go and reform ourselves immediately when we hit 10, because we can generate development points very quickly with all these Sky Lantern rituals, but we might not actually want to do the reform immediately. Really, I think the trigger for the reform is when we get a temple, because then we'll, we'll want to make some pretty sweeping changes simultaneously. We might add in, I actually want transhumanist first. We could add human superiority because then we would get a production specialist, which is good. 
But have we defined, did we put up a research specialist and should we? Should it be Hope? Hope's good at construction, but she doesn't actually have the passion for it. Um, if I go, where are we? Right over here. Disables cook, grow, mine. Oh, wait. okay, we got a raid. It doesn't disable construction. Although you're right, you're a social leader. Hold on, that's that's silly of me. Who else then? Zach. If it doesn't disable crafting, we could do it. On the other hand, because you've got crafting passion, we might want to save you for the production specialist. And then Smogger is the other one who has crafting plus the research. Oh, Zach is a isn't a, a permanent team member anyway. So really, it would be a question of, do we turn Smogger into a research specialist? I think we might. But first, obviously, we're going to have to deal with this raid. They're attacking immediately. All right. They have guns, including a heavy SMG. A good heavy SMG. Which, I mean, it's maybe a little scary to deal with. But it means we don't, we, we're going to get ourselves one. And we don't have any prisoner rooms um, in place, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, that door here isn't done. People aren't going to walk through any traps. That's kind of tragic. I don't suppose. No. Okay. If we had enough wood, I might have been able to force that to finish. All right. And Animal Plague, our mare is sick. I think I might just butcher you. group of travelers passing by all right you're gonna be safe which is a little sad because it would be nice to see what we arrange all right i guess we can do the full three person block hug go go away actually stay here in case someone needs to be rescued oh then we have another stabby stabby out of these guys who's best at melee Okay, Minoka's actually the weakest at melee. So we'll pull you back. Unless we do something like this. People might move forward into this gap. If they don't, then we'll have someone move forward. We'll have Liz move forward into here. Engage. We do have one trap, which is good. Yeah, you are going to stay there. Oh, I'm not sure you got a firing angle. And I hate that we don't have cover. Pull back, force these guys into the open so we can go in and hit them in melee. Alright. This is not working out too well. We have some cover there. Um, we can't have anyone stand there, which is unfortunate. We can go over here, but I don't think Hope's gonna have a range. Actually, the revolver has surprisingly decent range. Okay. Chasing you down might not be viable. Let me unrecruit everyone. Gomp, I'm gonna get you to move right there. Oh, that was pretty accurate. Nope. All right, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Since I have um, the allow tool, I can hit home to unforbid things, which is great. We don't have cannibal rules or anything like that, so we are gonna bury the dead. We have graves over here. I think we'll probably need maybe a couple more over here. So. Doctoring. Turn off, turn off. Maybe we're going to go and eat your meals. That's fine. Okay, some treatments are going off. That's good. I don't think anyone's bleeding to death. 16 hours, but you're being treated. Okay, everyone else is on no immediate danger. Oh, um, these are actual proper wounds. Maybe just because I'm going to suck at micromanches. I'm going to keep on the herbal medicine all the time for people. Because otherwise I'll forget to reset things. It sucks to use it for bruises. Although it'll mean they'll recover from the bruises a little bit faster, which is good. Um, did anyone lose any body parts? 
Is this new? Hug. Who was it? Smogger. Oh, it's not a brain injury. It's an eye injury. Auto pistol, but it probably was from this group. Yeah, it was. Okay. But yeah, it's. I, th for some, I thought it was perm. I'm usually used to seeing permanent gunshot injury in like the brain. A wild man has wandered in. We can try to tame you, but I don't think we have stupend. Eleven's mm. not bad. We might need some backup. Jealous, cyclically dull. Jealous is very annoying. They don't want just a good bedroom. They want the best bedroom. But you can fight. And you have some useful skills. I really don't like Jealous. I think we'll probably not accept them. Even though it hurts a little. Okay, we are out of steel. So we're going to put a little mining command over there, please. And we need wood. And I'm not sure. Okay, let's do... Where's the anima tree? Right over there. So... If I go and say harvest fully grown, I'm gonna control click to only do trees. There's really not a lot there. Oh, the allow tool is smart enough to not do the anima tree. Oh my God. Why was I running without the allow tool? It's so good. Again, I do think that the built-in chop tool here needs a modifier key option built into vanilla for you hold shift or you hold control and it only does fully grown and maybe ignores anima trees as well. Like maybe the only way you should be able to chop down the anima tree is if you specifically click on it and then click the button. Just exclude it from the list of things you can control click. I'm gonna go and harvest all these trees. I think we need a decent amount of wood. Um, I might, I'm gonna bring the plant cut down to a two though, especially now that the first few are done. It doesn't have to be the highest priority right now, especially with that much. If I was only chopping down like four or five trees, then yeah, go out and do it right away and then finish. But otherwise we're gonna pull back on that just to make sure we don't fall behind on some of our growth. So yeah, we did slaughter that, so we don't have any horses anymore. That does make me kind of sad. I do still have this hopper set up to be the critical priority for meat, so meat's gonna get stacked in there and get consumed first. And this tile here actually can't be floored at all, so I'm gonna remove that square, because otherwise it'll just stay forever. I mean, we'll notice it later. And we are gonna go and make sure these weapons get equipped. Let's actually do a high priority haul on some of these corpses. Again, we could right click on a thing and tell it to be hauled individually. The saves needs to click. Okay, the wild man coming in here, he's gonna eat some of our raw rice. Hmm. You're right here. We don't have to crawl across the map to tame you. Do we give it a go? I don't know how hard you are to recruit. Got a wildness of 75, but I don't know what that translates to. Um, if I look, our best handler. Like, can I get a preview? I guess. Click tame, 10% chance. Yeah, we don't know your chance of being tamed. Okay. Great, everyone. Send them over here. The Mnyoka. Okay, you're gonna try to go for the tame. Oh, and they fell asleep. That's annoying. <laughs> All right, and just go back to your regular work. Best available Royal Ascent. One of the victory conditions, of course. I've gotten better. Well, I don't know if it's true, but of at least trying to do kiting, fighting now. You know, staying from range, using the terrain a little bit more, understanding a little bit more of the combat mechanics. And especially if we go with like mass assault rifles, we might be in a better position now than ever before to try more of these victory conditions. The problem is with the victory conditions and the, the raids that come, you can't depend on your static defenses anymore. So we might, we could meet more things in the field, perhaps, I don't know. Okay, that door is up now. These traps are going down now, which is good. This is all home zone, so the auto rearm is on, which is nice to see as well. A little fennec fox over there. Is this gold? That is gold. Okay, hauling steel. I don't like when the constructors are doing the hauling because they only grab one chunk at a time. Whereas haulers will try to grab multiple nearby chunks. Although that was the only chunk of steel that was in that area.
Oh, right. I set this up. I don't know if we got our uranium yet, but make maces. Clear all just uranium. Make, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll try to make three. We may or may not always be using them, but that's what we're going to set up. Yeah, deconstruct. And then I was going to say, might, oh, and then you're going to go immediately to rest, which is annoying. Um... How do I make sure they don't just deconstruct and then immediately they're like, oh, let's take this two units of, of steel and put it down here in a very inefficient way. If I didn't have any production jobs that were using steel, then they would just deconstruct all of it and then at some point someone would haul it and grab multiple chunks. What if I did something crazy? Like, I'm going to temporarily turn off construction. Although... I still want them to deconstruct, but there's going to be some mining going on, is, is what I was going to think. I'm going to turn off the construction until this area over here is mined, and then we'll turn it back on. And then we'll use this steel because of proximity to do this first. Or people will have done hauling, which is also possible. Okay, you're up. Hold on. Let's do the thing. Sorry to wake everyone up. Get everyone out here. And... Oh, we did do a try recently. Although, what I have to make sure to do is turn off everyone else's animal handling. So, only Minoka will do the auto-tame. I might want to turn off the tame. And then just manually watch it so that we're ready to go. Minoka has the melee weapon. You know, you might be fairly safe. All right. I'm going to turn it back on. We've got other people around. And let me tell you, instead of running, you're going to fight back. In fact, just for simplicity right now, I'm going to tell everyone, instead of running fight back, uh, except for Pug, our child here, who's going to still be on fleet. The Mailers is actually quite conven convenient sometimes to, like, undraft them, but leave them on the attack mode. And then it's a little bit like the mod, uh, the search and destroy mod that I like a lot, um, which I mostly like for the Mailers, because I want to tell them, listen, just run and try to engage people in melee. Because otherwise, the micro for Mailers is really annoying. That's an option. All right, so we have the tame enabled. We'll see what happens. And not, the jealous is really annoying. And, and as long as we don't have any bedrooms, I guess you don't have anything to be jealous of. So while we're still in full barracks mode, it's kind of okay. I mean, at some point people are gonna pair off and then I will want that. I don't think anyone has yet, right? Uh, you have a lover. So we do free love. Okay. Well, we're not going to pair off, but we are going to go and make a bed. Should I just make it out of steel? Oh, God, I hate that. Idea. We theoretically... Oh, we don't have any wood. I guess all this stuff hasn't been chopped because of the priority levels. Yeah. They will get around to it, but they're working... All of our plant people are working on actual planting. We do have a lot of fields set up. On the plus side, at some point, the wood here is going to get... You know, grow and get harvested. It's actually growing fairly quickly. Maybe we're going to find ourselves in a good stable wood thing. So again, we've got a more consistent, shorter-term trickle from the fiber corn. Oh, there's the revenge. All right. Well. Go and help. Get you guys to come over here. I suppose I could try to run a little bit with Minoka just to buy a little bit of time. We might be able to break them out. There. Okay, good. In fact, at this point, we might just be able to do kite things. Uh, here. You guys stop there. And then all the mailers. We could capture them. I don't think that's worthwhile. Yeah. Liz, could you um, just finish them off, please? Thanks. Transport port crash. Treehouse builder. Oh, near named Butcher. Not affiliated. Maybe we do need ourselves a prisoner room. Wooden hand, old gunshot wound. Psychopath, misogynist, asexual. Planter, melee. I'm not sure that you're... I'm not sure you're tempting enough. We're just going to leave you bleed to death. But I 
think we are going to plan on getting our prisoner room up and running here. Uh, where do I want to stick this? Maybe just off of here for now. I say for now as if, you know, we're going to change things, but we may. We'll square off some corners. We'll make this a fairly large room, because then if you get, like, bonuses from being relatively spacious. Maybe this. I mean, it's not the biggest, but it's going to be decent. Now, these beds, we do want to make out of stone, because, first of all, it'll save our... Um, these beds we will want to make out of stone because it's plentiful and in fact the fact that it rests people slower is less bad Zach's going to leave and Yoka's going to stay that's fine um, ideally we'd like to do it with the worst constructor we've got because we'd want a lower quality bed to reduce the sleep quality even that much more but that kind of micromanage is annoying and then you can lead to botches and stuff be nice to just tell your skilled person, just do it as like, badly as an, and uncomfortably as possible, please. But that's not really an option. Smash, smash, smash. It's like that scene from Office Space where they smash in the printer. Die, debris. Yeah. Actually, there we go. I'll use the plan on the fly here. We'll do the thing where we prep four of them. And we'll also want a cable in here. Cable there. And I guess I'll just set up some stools again, just so that we can just get away with just stone. Probably an AC, although we could just vent from the main room. Maybe I don't vent. Maybe I do build the air conditioner, but I can leave it off. Yeah, okay. We need to power it off most of the time. Um, I'll unforbid you. And then, yeah, we'll turn off this plan mode because we'll want to make sure to get some power running in here in general. Hey, can I put a wall light down before the wall is up? I can. Okay. Not enough steel stored, but that's okay. We do actually have steel now. Cherie's shame. 24-year-old Muffalo Shaman named Cherie is calling from nearby. She's begging to join you. Some kind of threat following her, I'm willing to say. Okay, so we'll get a little mini-raid following her, but that's probably fine. We don't get any more details about them. We got a little trap corridor set up. I think we can accept this. I'd still like to go and help that village on the world map that called for help. All right, please don't be garbage. Good melee. We got a lot of melee people. You are, as I say, this seems like a tribal person. You can do natural meditation. Um, all right, not a winner, but not a loser. And again, we're a little limited on doctors, so we got to make do with what we've got here. Well, you can construct. That's good. Speaking of construction, let's turn this back on for the people with the passion. I'm going to leave it off of Hope. She does have good construction numbers, but has no passion. We can have her move more into a research role now. That's okay. Actually, if we get someone else with really strong social skills, we can move Hope into the researcher specialist role and let someone else be our moral guide. And that actually seems fairly desirable. Right, I'm doing the T, that's fine. There's no particular skill requirements. <clears throat> yeah, construction's back on, so this is gonna start going again, including all this flooring. I guess we'll probably plan on the fact that there's going to be concrete over here, too. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now, who's our best shootist, or do I just give... Hope's pretty good. Honestly, let's give her the uh, heavy SMG. Now, Smogger, you're also not bad. We'll give you the pistol. Oh, actually, this machine pistol, please. Minyoka, Liz, Sharice melee only. Oh, we have a uranium mace already. Cool. Yeah, we got to get some storage set up so that we can keep down this. I think Minyoka is going to stay in melee. But Liz can get a gun. Revolver is really not great. But I think that's going to be the way to go. All right, machining is done. Plain armor into flat. We've got some decent weapons. If we can get a little bit of armor, how much time do we have on our world quest here? 
11 days. And it's the, tra the, the travel time's not going to be huge. Oh, Pug's got a growth moment. How'd it go? Nimble Careful Shooter Psychically Sensitive. So Careful Shooter is not necessarily desirable because it does decrease generally your fire rate, although it does make you a better sniper. We might just give you a Nimble, so if you do get caught in melee. Do I not get to choose any skills at this age? Showing little personal development. No, I think we just got a low education level here. Yeah, no, at seven, you would get skills, but we unfortunately didn't get it. He's got no passion still. We might give him this just to protect you a little bit from melee attacks. We could give you Psychically Sensitive, but I don't think you'll get Nature Meditation. Nimble's good. All right, flooring's going quickly. Concrete builds very fast, and it's very little material. Well, I don't think that tile is gonna get worked either. Because again, the nutrient paste dispenser counts as walls, so this tile and this tile is inherently unreachable. Um, I guess it's not a fridge, so this being in the doorways. Oh, not a problem, but it should definitely not be a stockpile zone. Maybe it's good that it was there because we noticed that it was a problem immediately. And I'm probably gonna end up forbidding this door once this becomes a refrigerator. Right now, it's not an issue. We are getting more people. I think we should probably get some more regular beds down. Wood or metal. I mean, we do have a lot of steel available. So maybe, in fact, I'm gonna start a second vein mine when this is done. I do wanna build some freaking metal beds. It hurts my soul, but I think we are going to. Well, I might wait for our current round of construction to finish because currently we're okay on beds. I mean, we could start making stone beds and accept the fact that we're gonna need longer sleep stop and cycles, but it seems really bad. It seems really bad. Hey, did I ever get the advanced lighting? I don't want to get that. It's a really short research. Mad hair. Inside of our base. Okay, well, I'm not actually scared of it. Take care of it immediately. Just to make sure nothing weird happens. Overkill the defense, and that's okay. What kind of weapon do you have? You have a poor steel knife. Why don't you upgrade to a normal steel knife? <clears throat> so, we've constructed one of our maces. How much do we need uranium? 100. Okay, so we clearly need more. Is there any in our restockpile thing? I don't think so, because I think it would show up in this category. So presumably it's just that. So I'm gonna assume we need at least a couple more of those. Perhaps. I'm gonna toggle this off so that even when we get power over here, it's not gonna use the power until we need it. So I thought about the vent, but I realized most of the time, if we don't have prisoners, I actually don't wanna be cool in this room even with the vent. So I think a dedicated cooler, while it takes a little bit more material, this is gonna be a little bit more power efficient. Not too worried about the amount of power the light is using, especially once we get advanced lights, it cuts in half. But the big thing is I just wanna get the big, um, What's it called? Floodlight. We can put one floodlight in the middle of this room. Everything will be illuminated. We can trash these little standing lights. Or save them for something else, but probably not. Construction. That's good. This is finished. Yeah, so all the construction is done. Can we not reach this? No, we must be able to work this down. Well, we'll find out. If it ever get if it never gets finished, then we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna unforbid, actually, all this furniture here. This has got a shoot frenzy. Mm, not sure we didn't do anything about that, but okay. Oh, it'd be really great if you got yourself a bunch of education here. Oh, right, I want to set up a double bed. I'm gonna queue it up as a wooden bed. Do we have marble? Yeah, marble and table right there. And we'll put hope and smogger in there. And we might try for kids. <gasps> the ancient techno cube. How you 500. All right, so we're gonna accept this. This is a relic. This is not the anomaly thing. It's just a relic. 
This room here is going to be set for prisoners. Poor bed. Awful bed. Oh, this is actually great. I love that you guys are ruining the quality of these beds. This is ideal. That one's good. So if we take a look at the awful bed, it's sleep rest effectiveness is 77 percent we look at the good one it's 97 still you know still nowhere near as good as the wood or the steel but let's pull that out of there um these beds might be in the way of this maybe i should have put prison somewhere else or i can just move the beds and it may, in fact, do exactly that. Because if there's prison breaks and stuff, these beds might end up being awkward for positioning and standing on things. Yeah, I suspect we might do a little bit of move. We don't have to worry about right now because we don't actually have prisoners. I think I'll redig some graves. So they're ready. Get a little more uranium. Components were okay. I don't need to deconstruct this stuff yet. What I might like is more people idling so we can do more research. I'm gonna preemptively get a few more of these built. It does need steel and blocks. Because I don't think we need to queue up too much. I think the growers are the ones who are maybe the most aggressively busy all the time. Um, we still need a little bit of wood there. And everyone set got research on a four or three if they're good at it. Still want the clean first, which is fine. But yeah, if we start to run low on some of these other jobs, that might be ideal. Smogger's still gonna do mining. Actually, we might be good on steel right now. I don't suspect we are. I'm gonna cancel that for now. 101 uranium. There we go. So we can make another mace. And melee weapons don't have quality, right? Oh, no, they do, actually. And smithing. Oh, our best is only a five. Hmm. That's a shame. Raid. Prepare for a while, then attack. Have I done any zoning? I think the answer is no on this. First of all, actually, I should check the home zone that. I think everything is okay. Okay. That's fine, but yeah. Um, we've got this work zone. Let me do a new area called Walled. And expand this. Include this, all that. Everything here is fine. It's behind our walls. So, everything in the middle here, please. Let's do something like that. So, schedule everyone to be inside the walled area. Also, we can switch some of these jobs, do some schedules. Okay, they're gonna prepare for a while. Um, yeah, we should probably get the rest of our kind of pillbox set up. These are starting to be some more serious raids. Well, okay, short term, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, um, some sort of zone, doesn't matter. Some sort of zone over here. Storage, clear all critical or chunks. Yeah, specifically stone chunks. And then I'm going to here, haul urgently. People will move things over here. And then the haul urgently will sort of fail once this fills out, which is fine. Well, some things might get moved there, but things won't get moved out of the stockpile. Actually, let me cancel. Everything that's currently in the stockpile, we'll leave it there. Okay. We can use this for some early cover. Okay, they're beginning their assault. So, recruit everyone. Pew pew people. 
melee people. Yeah, we are going to have to keep these guys pinned. Oh, we are. Hmm. We might friendly fire. Okay. Stay back. Here. And be ready to engage. Maybe, why do you look like this? Is that, that might just be tattoos. Clean already. Good. And get a little closer. They will turn and melee us. Which maybe I shouldn't have a melee here at all. Release. And unrestrict everyone. Hug, stay inside the walled areas, please. How are you not downed? Man. You're at least you're moving quite slow. You're probably bleeding to death too. Are you tough? No. Are you Neanderthal? No, you're not anything anymore. Okay. Let's unforbid everything. To rebuild these traps. I mean, we do have a, a supply of wood now, so maybe it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this. Okay, sandstone wall. Let's extend this in another. I'm trying to keep this fairly narrow. So we want shots that miss to still have a chance of hitting people behind. We are gonna go a sort of longer or deeper kill box than I've done in the past because I'm not gonna optimize around heavy SMGs. Okay, let's call that good enough. Point here. I feel it actually seems okay. biggest we could always expand it later when you get more people and when we feel more content about shooting from a longer distance okay, let's put an urgent hole on this and get it out of here um we can just yeah make this longer and then wider and set it back here but for now i think this is going to be okay do i want to leave a little access door i think i do and if i put it this way then our people when they shoot they won't be shooting the doors that's going to be okay all right and that's fine And then the next thing we're going to do is build roof area. Although we don't really have to worry about trees growing inside any of these areas. But just in case the cactus, because it's sand, I actually don't know if they can grow at all. But... I'm going to put a roof area over here anyway. Don't get a mistake. Um, as of a long time now, roofing does not... Um, or darkness does not give a shooting debuff. But... It will still prevent trees from growing there, which is good because they can't use the cover. And I'll put a little here so that people standing here will be under cover from the rain. We're going to want a table over here as well so that after combat, people will be able to... Really still brave, it's good. Um, people will be able to eat at a table and not get super turbo cranky immediately. Um, I don't think we care about the beauty. I don't think I have to make it out of marble. So I'll probably... Because it's not going to be in a room. So it's just going to be a sandstone table. Just off to the side, somewhere over here like that. And I think I will go with stools. That was comfortable, but people won't be using this as often. And then we're going to go with sandstone columns. Boop, 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 boop. And then we're going to say, hey, I would like this area to be roofed, please. We have a little picnic area. So at the end of combat, because people will usually be carrying a meal with them. Well, they may. I don't know what the nutrient paste if they do. They might, they might carry pemmican or survival meals, depending on what we've got. It's entirely possible. They'll stop, and then they'll eat a meal there immediately, and then get an eight without a table. Here. So this gives them a table a little bit closer. It might be useful for other people. Someone over here. Because there's a maximum range from a table, at which point you won't walk all the way to a table to eat your meal. Which is, I think, probably the correct behavior. There are mods that exist to let you tweak it. Um, but the travel time's ridiculous. So I'm thinking we can't reach... Yeah, no path. Okay. We'll just cancel it. It's fine. It's not part of any room. 
So the beauty in that tile doesn't actually matter in any way whatsoever. Well, that's not true. Interestingly enough, this one does. Oh, because you can stand next to the door. Oh, okay, because you can see the minus one from the concrete. But this has led us to have a somewhat impressive barracks, which is gonna be better for people's mood. It's still a barracks. They're still gonna get disturbed sleep and then nowhere near as much of a bedroom, but it's still getting a lot nicer and we can make this much nicer. This also counts as a somewhat impressive dining hall and a somewhat impressive uh, rec room as well. So we're getting to stack multiple things at the same time. And as we add more details, this room is just gonna get prettier and prettier. Yeah, I would like this research to kick in. Anyway, I'm gonna put a cut in here. Folks, thanks for watching another episode. I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for all the like, likes and comments, which help a lot on YouTube. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, hold on. One thing I just realized, probably been getting comments about it because I think this happened last episode. I built this extra um, rock cutting station, but never issued some job sword. Now we can have two people crafting stone at the same time, and that's going to be very helpful, I think. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.